Hello, my name is Semyon Ruminchik. I am the scientific director here at ACGT Incorporated. ACGT Incorporated provides a wide variety of services geared towards analysis of the genome. Our genomic analysis suite of services includes Sanger sequencing, next generation or NGS analysis, genotyping of SNPs and other variants, such as repeats, support services like DNA and RNA extraction from samples, evaluation of copy number variations and gene expression levels by a quantitative PCR, as well as bioinformatics analysis and archiving of samples and data. We provide services both as research level analysis and also as good laboratory practice standards as mandated by FDA and EPA. What would be included would be the generation of the library that is specific towards the type of project that you would be requesting, a sequencing of that library on our Illumina NGS platforms, and then analysis of the data with our bioinformatics group for whatever goal your analysis is geared toward. In fact, we can provide any part of, of this number of services individually. If, for example, you only need sequencing, or you only need library preparation and sequencing, or even if you only need data analysis, we can essentially provide each and every one of those uh, services separately. Typically, the samples that we receive are prepared DNA and RNA. However, we are capable of preparing these uh, nucleic acids from the raw samples that you might provide, such as uh, tissue, blood, saliva, swabs, environmental samples, uh, bacterial uh, culture. Uh, pretty much any organic sample can be used to prepare these for analysis. Occasionally, customers provide prepared libraries that are already suitable to be loaded onto the Illumina platforms for analysis. At ACGT, we have a group of uh, highly trained uh, laboratory personnel that are experienced in uh, all aspects of NGS workflow. Library preparation, extraction of nucleic acids from various samples, a quality control of both the sample and the libraries throughout the process of preparation, loading and operating uh, the uh, sequencing platforms that we have, quality control of the data that comes off the platforms, and the bioinformatic analysis of the data up to any required level of customers' uh, specifications for the data quality and analysis. We can offer any level of bioinformatic analysis that the customer requests. The data that comes off the sequencing uh, platforms is usually uh, fast queue uh, sequences of reads. And these can be trimmed, they can be filtered for quality, so we can generate a subset of very high quality reads. They can be provided to the customer if that is all that they require. We can then also proceed with further analysis, like uh, mapping those reads to a reference of a customer's choice. We can also proceed further and generate reports of variants with the reference sequence. If uh, the analysis performed is of the uh, RNA or transcriptome, then we can do also uh, differential expression analysis. We can report on the uh, levels of different transcripts found in the, in, the, in the sample. Even more custom type analysis can be provided depending on the, on the goals of the customer. A wide range of analysis options is available. It would, to a large degree, depend on which genome is being requested to be sequenced. For example, a bacterial genome could be sequenced uh, for an, around $1,000, but that is a small genome. It's uh, usually 4 million bases or base pairs. Alternatively, uh, we're talking human genome, then uh, that is a much larger genome. And to sequence it to a coverage that is acceptable level these days, which is at minimum 30-fold coverage, would cost at least $6,000, at least with the technologies that we have right now. What would be provided would be the data that would align the sequences to the reference sequence genome for whatever that species that's being sequenced, and uh, a variant report that would indicate high-quality uh, variants or mutations found in the sample. 
relative to the reference. Another alternative in that regard would be a comparative analysis where instead of a reference, we can actually compare two different samples to each other and then generate a report stating how, how they differ in terms of their uh, mutations or variants. Well, again, uh, that really depends on the project, on the scale of the project, uh, the number of samples that are being tested, the methods that are being tested. Typically, the projects we get take between two and five weeks to complete. 